What's good, YouTube? It's your boy Bugs back, guys. What's good? Um, I hope you guys enjoyed my video yesterday. Uh, some people didn't, but you know what? It's just preference, man. It's just what I think about the game, and honestly, I feel like what I'm saying is completely right. If you don't agree, it's whatever. But anyways, guys, as per usual, drop 10k in the comments, like the vid, sub if you are new for a chance at winning 10k, guys. It's that simple. Uh, but anyways, um. Guys, um, today is Market Talk Tuesday as per usual. We'll be running a stream tonight at about 9.15 Eastern as per usual. Hope you guys enjoyed the stream yesterday. Uh, it was pretty lit. And guys, um, I'm sorry if I sound shot. I just got home from a huge shift. This is pre-recorded on mon uh, Monday night. If I sound shot, that is my bad. I just got off a nine-hour shift. I'm all burnt up. I'm literally sunburned. It's shot. But listen... We're here grinding, and you guys gotta give me support. Um, Market Talk Tuesday. Is this episode 8 or 9? I don't know. We're gonna have to look it up. Uh, but man, guys, Market Talk Tuesday. Everybody's been loving it. Talk about the market, how to make stubs, all that nonsense. And listen, um, this Market Talk Tuesday is gonna be interesting because I don't know what to freaking do this week. Because with that huge market crash, I'm still trying to regroup my stubs from it. And right now, I just really want to talk about investments that I told you to invest in. And a lot of people have been asking me, what should I do with like Machado? What should I do with Baez? What should I do with Turners? What should I do with Alcunas? I'm going to show you in this video. That's what I want to go over. I want to, let's go right now. We're doing live series cards right real quick. Don't sell any of your 95 99s yet. They're not out of packs. They're still there in the store. <coughs> do not sell anything. If you're gonna sell anything, I'll explain that. I would say Thursday, Friday, one of those videos, Thursday or Friday. Just stay tuned for that. All right, <clears throat> so ready? Players did go up, okay? Players did go up. Chris Sale did go up. Um, hmm, Let's see, Bellinger went up a little bit. Freeman went down a lot. DeGrom's cheap. Hmm. All right. Okay, so Machado went up. He went at about 6K. He was, what, 30K yesterday or two days ago? So he's at 37. He got upgraded one overall. I will not be selling mine yet. Um, I have three. Maybe I should sell. Uh, nah. Um, let me see. Let's check this. Hold up one second. Nope, wrong thing. All right, let's see. So honestly, 37. Honestly, no, 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 no. Don't sell him. Wait. Wait till Thursday the latest. If you guys need stuff, I would say wait Thursday. I'll let you know on Thursday because if you have Machado, I would say wait. He's still playing very good. He's a top player of the month this week, uh, this month. He actually went off. If you look at his stats, you'd be like, holy crap. Um, he's literally amazing right now. I would hold on to him. Altuve. I told you guys to invest in Altuve. 20K, 18K. Right now on 18K. I don't know if he's still injured, actually. Let me check. Let's see. Altuve, uh, Altuve, is he injured? No, he's back. Is he playing well? Ugh, seven, 14 for 48 over the last month. That's pretty trash. So honestly, if you have Altuve, I would go ahead and sell him Thursday before uh, the update, before the headliner packs come out. Because when they drop headliner packs, if they drop headliner packs, the market's crashing again. And you guys will lose stubs again, like I did. But anyways, so we got Verlander at 11k. This is a snag. Verlander still pitching well. Pretty good snag. Uh, Baez with the edge down at 23k. If you guys are watching this <coughs> and you guys have stubs, go ahead and go cop this card. I wish I wasn't broke. I have so many investments placed and I got screwed on all of them. On most of them, I'm literally not going to make any stubs. I'm either going to break even or lose like 2k because of this stupid market crash, man. Screw me up. Um, So... Yes, Baez is a definite cop right now. He's so cheap. Um, how are you going to make stubs right now? Realistically, bro, uh, the only way I could suggest you make stubs um, is just buying as many things as possible. Everything is still super cheap. If you guys go back to my Market Tuesday last week, you see all these dudes right here. You see Edwin Diaz, bro. He was 28K. You look at Goldschmidt, 25. Kluber was about the same. Chad was about the same. Judge was way more expensive. Bias was 40K last week, bro. 
This is crazy stuff. Uh, if you guys have Rizzo, if you guys have Bueller, just hold on to them. Um, Bueller, you can actually sell him if you want. But honestly, I, I'm just going to hold on to it for now. Do I have four Chris Bryants? I have four Bryants. Uh, right now, I will not make any stubs on him. I got him on for 14K. He's at 17. I'm going to wait. I, I need him to go back up to 20K. If he doesn't go back up to 20K, we're going to have issues. Kirby Yates at 5K, not bad. But I'll just keep him. Throw him into your lineup. Use him for a little bit. Let him go up to 6, 7, 8K. It's too cheap. There's too many cards in the auction. The auction is flooded. What we need, I never would want to say this, but what we need is a stub sale. It sounds crazy, but maybe they'll drop some magical stub sale. Maybe this week. Honestly, I really feel like they will. I really think they will. If they drop a stub sale, holy crap. If you listen to me right now, and you buy all these cards okay actually okay honestly i think in the next two weeks they will drop a sub sale uh think about it all-star content's probably gonna drop next week we got content coming up friday probably headliner packs who knows we have to wait for the stream if they have a stream thursday so if they drop a stub sale in these next two weeks and you guys cop the cards i told you to cop in this video you're gonna make a ton of stubs honestly i think they're almost guaranteed a, a stub sale i could be off i know in 2k they drop on like every month this game, they're going to drop on every month, hopefully. We're going to make a ton of stubs. Um, let's just pray they do it, man. Let's just please. All right, let's see. How many Springers do I have? I still have three. Holy crap. Vado at 2K. He's trash. Uh, Ryu. Dude, this is a good investment. 25 for Rue. Or Ryu, whatever his name. 25. 1,700 for Blake Snell. I think he's going to go down it again. Broke out of his slump. Pitched a complete gem yesterday. If you don't believe me, go check it out. Uh, I'll be picking up a couple of him. I'll probably go... I wish I had more subs, man. I'm just trying to wait till Thursday to sell some cards. Uh, we got Xander. We got 3K for Xander. Xander should have went diamond, in my opinion. I have 7, 2,600. If you guys are watching, go pick up Xander. He goes diamond. Minimum 5K. Minimum 25. 2K made right off the bat. Uh, we got Charlie Morton, 2K. All these 84s, bro. If you're watching this, go cop right now, bro. For 2K... 2 freaking K. Trevor Story, bro. 3K, I should say. Cranky for 2K. 1,200 stubs for Trey Turner. I have 15. If he goes diamond, your boy's making profit. And also, listen. I was reading a story on Jose Ramirez. And it said that his, his luck this year is insane. He supposedly has a very high line drive rate. It's just none of his balls are going in like the right direction. He's getting screwed. Honestly, bro, if you haven't, if you're watching this, bro, and you're a fantasy player, buy low on him. I think he's gonna break out. Like he's gonna be back to normal soon. Believe me, he's a beast. Anyways, though, that's off topic. But let's just end it off on some of uh, these 99 overalls. Let's check their prices. See if anybody went up. Kaylee Jansen did drop. Honestly, bro, as long as these packs are still out, they're gonna keep dropping. But then they'll go up right when these packs are out of packs. There's no other way to get them besides those packs. Gary Carter, 125,000. That's expensive. If you want to buy this, don't buy him. Actually, you could buy him at 110K. If you see him under 110K, I would cop. Uh, and then you could just sell him later, make those stubs. Cal Ripken, 72K, went up about 3K from yesterday. Not a bad pickup, bro. You're probably going to keep seeing his price rise. I don't see this price dropping anytime soon. Like, 99 overall, that good for that? Nah, you won't see it. Uh, I'm not even going to talk about that, dude. Not going to talk about this, dude. Like, don't even buy him. Don't buy him. Don't buy him. Votto for 64K is not bad. Uh, Billy Wagner for 65K. If you get him for 65K, you're lit because you're not going to see him under that price. Henderson for 72K, not bad. Verlander for 77, not bad. Alomar, dude, honestly, this collection's over. If you really want to buy these cards, just don't even buy them. It's just not, it's, it's just pointless. Uh, Keith Hernandez at 18K. This is the my favorite card in the game right now. 18k for a 98 overall go cop he is literally the better daniel murphy daniel murphy is hitting over 350 for me i have about 100 something games played with him online so good the go between the gold and the diamond i don't know which one they're just amazing murphy's just a beast and too many is a silver now stupid but wade box 56k not a bad uh yad for 82k i saw about 120 last week so that's crazy Right now, all I'm going to say is just go buy as many players as possible. I'm going to keep saying it. 
you'll never see the market like this ever again especially bro if you hear stub sale on a stream if you hear something about a stub sale wednesday or thursday you better get on this game and sell your card i mean you better get on this game and buy as many cards as possible because myself and Gomes will be posting a video on it but anyways guys i hope you enjoyed market talk tuesday let's go pick up those cards make those stubs invest hope you have a good one peace Oh, oh.